Okay, buyers, here we got an interesting one. This video is for this hard drive up here, which I'm selling. Um, it's been imported from the United States, so it's a 120 volt hard drive. Um, it says 15 meg, but it's been replaced with a 42 meg hard drive. And what makes it interesting is that I've set it up so that uh, on a Model 4, both Model 3 operating system and Model 4 operating system will boot up. So first I'll just show it booting up uh, Model 3 mode operating system, which is uh, LDOS 5.3.1. So now we're operating off the disk, off the hard drive up here, there it goes. We check our device listing. We'll just bring the camera over. Um, you can see there that we've got drive 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the um, hard drive. Drive 5 and 6 are the two floppy drives off the 4P. Um, so that's it running um, in Model 3 mode, LDOS 5.3.1. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just rest the camera down again and we'll um, show it boat booting into Model 4 mode. LS-DOS. Today's date is the 5th of, oh no, it's 11th of the 5th, 2012, times whatever we make it. Now, let's boot it into Model 4 mode. We do a device list. You can see a similar thing. So how's it done? Pretty simple actually. Um, the hard drive itself is formatted into five partitions. We decide on one partition to become the Model 4 mode LS-DOS and another partition to become the um, Model 3 mode LDOS. We copy the operating system from floppy to the hard drive for each of the two operating systems and then we set up the boot disks so that when it boots into um, LS-DOS Model 4 mode it um, goes to partition well, AAAA and when we boot with a Model 3 mode LDOS disk it uses that floppy drive, uh, that hard drive model 3 to become the operating system so that's what we have it's a 42 meg hard drive that has been formatted and tested um, and it runs dual operating systems uh, on a model 4 um, if you're interested send me an email uh, it's for sale on my website as is this model 4p as well so um, and check my other video if you want to see that 4p um, so there it is hard drive it's 120 volts uh, American uh, I can convert it to uh, 240 volts uh, Australian power supply if needed um, it involves changing the whole power supply and the cooling fan but otherwise um, it works pretty well in this country so uh, yeah thanks for watching